I'm Jenny Kitzinger from the Coma and Disorders of Consciousness Research Centre at Cardiff University. This kind of case where somebody wakes up after so many years of being semi-conscious or unconscious is very rare, which is why of course there are newsworthy cases like this and why we hear from the half dozen cases that have happened all over the world. Waking up in this situation isn't like you or I waking up. It's a gradual, slow emergence, probably not to full functioning cognition, not a full understanding of the world around you, but certainly a raising of level of awareness. When somebody wakes up from a long situation of being in this kind of condition, they're unlikely to make a full recovery. They may be able to do ritual sort of songs or prayers, do some short conversations, um, express, for example, when they can experience pain, but they're un unlikely to be able to make their own independent choices again or live independently. And I think we also have to acknowledge with this case that early reports say that she'd actually been diagnosed as being in a minimally conscious state. So that's not like she was completely unconscious at the beginning. She wasn't in a coma or a vegetative state. It sounds like she was minimally conscious. So the term coma can be a little bit misleading. But anyway, what it does show, I think, is that we do need careful diagnosis and appropriate treatment for patients wherever they are in the world. And that includes good um, therapies and care and stimulation and times for rest. So I know that the family here, and I do wish them well, have said that they've released this story to say that no one should ever give up hope. I think it's also important to recognise that this sort of recovery, even to the level described here, is unusual, is rare. And sometimes hope can be quite a cruel thing. So families have to navigate what they think their relative would want in these situations in quite a complex way that can involve hope, but can also involve sometimes being realistic that a recovery for that patient to a quality of life that they would have wanted isn't possible.